So my viewpoints on this are completely consistent with that of the larger scientific organizations, National Academy of Sciences, World Health Organization, American, um, American Academy for Advancement of, Socii of Science. Um, just about every scientist and every scientific organization will come to the conclusion that this technology is extremely reasonable, that transgenic technology or GMO technology poses no more risk than conventional farming. And that is the scientific consensus, without a doubt. Many people will tell you it's not. But in departments across this country of independent scientists like me, uh, there's no question that this, is, uh, that this is a reasonable technology that has an outstanding safety record. That over three trillion meals have been served, it's estimated, containing GM ingredients, and not one link to some sort of a problem. Uh, I eat GMO food every day. Um, it's in 70% of our food. Um, I don't have the energy or the interest or the, um, or the money to want to try to avoid it. We um, understand how they work precisely. So it's no big surprise to be able to engineer these into the plant and, and understand what they do. What's nice is that today in science we have tremendous levels of detection for the presence of a gene, the presence of its product, where it's located in the genome, we can tell you all of that. So it's very simple to gain a very quick accounting of what the inserted gene is doing, if it's doing what we think it's doing, and if it has any other collateral effects. All can be assessed very quickly. Thus far, in 17 years of use, it's proven to be pretty true. Every product that we've seen come through this pipeline has not given us any evidence of harm.